Hey YouTube, Guitar Chase here, and welcome back to the 4th Storytime Sunday. I believe it's the 4th. I'm, I'm losing count, and I'm barely even starting this series. One of the reasons why I am losing count is I'm actually doing a Vlogmas right now. So if you're watching this in real time, feel free to stay caught up. I post a vlog every single day, and I also post two vlog videos total, a vlog and Story Sunday, Storytime Sunday, jeez on Sunday and a vlog in my normal weekly video on Wednesdays so you guys are getting nine videos out of me so if you're watching this in real time or you just want to go back and check out getting the Christmas spirit in the middle of August I'm sure someone's watching it then um you know so for this week's story we're gonna be talking about the time that I was bullied at work now Chase you already talked about the story that you were bullied by someone at school yeah I know but this isn't any ordinary person this was one of my managers. In fact, it was the assistant manager of the store. So, let's go ahead and get right into the story. So there was this assistant manager. I can't say his name because I don't want people to be like, oh, I know him, and then give him our time, even though that'd be nice because I really don't like him. But we're going to call him... We'll call him Steve. I don't want anyone to confuse the Steve that I used to work with at the same place. He was a cool guy. Worked in the dairy, I liked him. But I'm talking about the manager who now is named Steve. This was back when I used to be a courtesy clerk, which meant I bagged groceries and I brought in carts from outside and brought them inside for people to use. And while I was doing this one day, um, I was bringing in like one or two carts because that's all that was out there. Very little, you know, but I can't just stand around, I'll get in trouble. So I was bringing in two carts and he came out and he's like, alright, Chase, he's like, we need to talk. I don't want to talk to you, I've never really liked you in my life. He basically told me that I need to bring in more carts because it's unfair for the people who are coming out after me if I'm not doing the most I possibly can. There was no carts in the lot. I was bringing in all the carts that were outside. What more does he want from me? Oh no, ladies and gentlemen. It has not stopped there. Because yes, he did go back inside and left me alone that day. Cool. Easy enough. But. There was other times that he picked on me, for the same reason. Another time where I was out on carts, he was bringing in a few carts, I was bringing in a few carts, and there was this old lady, and she was bringing in three carts. Why? I don't know. They are probably around her car. I don't know. She was bringing in, and this manager, Steve, said, Look, this lady can bring in more carts than you. As I was pushing six carts. You know... I really don't understand why he got as high up as he did. And there was other times where he, he told me around the same thing, you know, picked on me, pulled my leg, stuff like that. I just learned to not even say anything to him. He'd tell me stuff and I'd walk away. I didn't want to talk to him, didn't want to look at him. And sometimes that was for the better. Sometimes it wasn't, but sometimes it was. It was nice because he did leave right before I left, because I mentioned this in day one of my vlogmas, but I don't know if I've ever mentioned anywhere else. I don't work at this grocery store anymore. Um, I now work at IHOP as a server, making a lot more money on a lot more, or a lot less days. So I had to work less, make more money. I, of course I'd do this thing. But before I left, he got transferred to another store, but he eventually got transferred back. And no one was happy that he came back. He was a manager that no one liked, and he was mean and like two-faced. He was very rude to all of his employees, and the minute he, he'd be chewing you out, Turn around, he'd see an attractive girl or lady walk by, and he'd be the nicest thing, apparently. And that's all he did, it was like, be mean to his employees, flirt with the hot girls that came in, and sat in his room and did absolutely nothing. That's, that's the kind of manager I had. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, comment, and subscribe, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below if you've had any situations with the boss slash managers that you guys work with, or if you don't have a job yet, maybe you're too young, maybe you just don't have one. Is there any time that you've had situations with test teachers? Because, boy, I really haven't. I've had a few, but nothing big. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I post every Wednesday and Sunday, and I am doing Vlogmas right now, so technically I'm posting every single day, but that's not gonna last. So if you're watching this on time, check out my other videos that'll be coming out every single day. If not, don't worry about it. Check what out. Check any video you want out, to be honest. But I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.